everybody on their vacation wants to have fun. And when anybody is thinking of fun, it is not possible that Disney World would not come to mind. But have you ever wondered what happens when the happiest place on earth becomes the scene of an unimaginable tragedy? What if I told you there were eight shocking accidents so severe and secretive that Disney used all their might, money, power, and an army of lawyers to keep them hidden from the public eye? From fatal falls to chilling accidents that ended in tragedy, these incidents are a stark reminder that even in a world built on fantasy, reality can be cruel. So you might be thinking, why hasn't the public heard about these stories? Why does Disney go to such lengths to keep these dark secrets locked away in the vault? In this video, we're diving into the hidden past of Disney's most deadly accidents and events that led to heartbreaking losses and cover-ups. Imagine going on a family vacation expecting laughter and magic, only to face unimaginable accidents. How how far will Disney go to protect its pristine image? And what does this mean for the millions of visitors who flock to the parks each year, blissfully unaware of the lurking dangers? We'll explore each of these eight chilling stories, unravel the truth behind Disney's dark secrets, and reveal what they don't want you to know. Stick around, because as we peel back the layers, you might find yourself questioning the magic and safety of this beloved kingdom. But before that, make sure you subscribe to our channel. All right, let's start by talking about Disney's sparkling reputation. When you think of Disney, you probably think of smiling faces, thrilling rides, and a whole lot of magic. Disney has built an empire on the promise of joy and safety. They've got everything down to a science, from meticulous cleanliness to rigorous safety protocols. You'd think you're stepping into a utopia where nothing ever goes wrong. Disney spends millions each year on ensuring that every corner of their parks is as safe as it can be. They've got safety protocols for their safety protocols, security checks, ride inspections, first aid stations, you name it. But here's the million dollar question if Disney is so safe, how could these tragic accidents happen? So now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Hold on to your Mickey ears because things are about to get dark. Accident number one, the River Rapids tragedy. Let's start with the River Rapids tragedy. Try to picture this on a beautiful day at Disney's California Adventure. Families were excitedly boarding the Grizzly River Run, a River Rapids ride that's supposed to be all fun and splashes. But on this day, fun turned into horror. A raft capsized, leading to a tragic drowning. Disney's response? Quick, calculated, and aimed at keeping it hush-hush. They offered settlements to the grieving families, requiring them to sign NDAs. What the public saw was just a brief mention, a blip on the radar quickly overshadowed by the next big Disney announcement. You know, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, there were over 1,000 injuries related to amusement park rides in the U.S. in 2019 alone. But here's the kicker incidents at Disney parks often don't make these lists. Why? Because Disney has its own medical team and often deals with incidents internally, away from public databases. Accident number two, the monorail disaster. Next up is the monorail disaster. It was a typical night with the sky lit with fireworks and the monorail gliding smoothly between resorts, until it wasn't. A collision occurred, resulting in the tragic death of a young operator. This incident raised serious questions about Disney's transportation safety. Sure, monorails are generally safe, but when things go wrong, they go terribly wrong. Disney's response was swift. Financial settlements, legal maneuvering, and a heavy emphasis on preventing media coverage. Compare this to the National Transportation Safety Board's NTSB records, which show that monorail accidents are rare but can be catastrophic. The lack of transparency from Disney only fuels speculation and distrust. Accident number three, the fatal fall. Then there's the fatal fall. This one happened at Disneyland Paris. A young boy full of excitement accidentally fell from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride platform. The fall was fatal. Disney's reaction? Immediate closure of the ride for maintenance settlements with the family and tight-lipped responses to media inquiries. They didn't want anyone to know about the tragic death in the so-called happiest place on earth. Safety measures are always in place, right? But did you know that falls are one of the most common causes of injury at theme parks? According to a study published in the Journal of Safety Research, falls account for a significant percentage of theme park injuries, yet they're rarely publicized, especially by big players like Disney. Accident number four, the parade mishap. Let's talk about the parade mishap. Imagine a grand Disney parade, vibrant floats, and beloved characters waving to the crowd. Suddenly, a float malfunctions leading to a deadly accident. This particular incident resulted in severe injuries and, tragically, a death. Disney's response? You guessed it. Settlements and NDAs. They ensured the parade continued as if nothing happened. But are the families affected? They were left to pick up the pieces away from the public eye. Statistics on parade-related accidents are scarce, primarily because incidents like these are swiftly dealt with internally. Disney's parades are a hallmark attraction, and any negative publicity could tarnish the magical image they project. Accident number five, the water ride catastrophe. Next, we have the water ride catastrophe. This one took place at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. A water ride malfunction led to a fatal accident. A wave pool, intended for fun and relaxation, 
turned deadly due to a mechanical failure. Disney's immediate action? Close the ride, compensate the victims, and ensure minimal media coverage. They focused on damage control rather than transparency. Water rides, though exciting, come with inherent risks. The International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions IOPA reports that water-related incidents are among the most common in amusement parks. Disney, with its vast resources, ensures these statistics rarely become public knowledge. Accident number six, the roller coaster crash. Now brace yourselves for the roller coaster crash. This tragic event happened on the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland. A train derailed, leading to the death of one passenger and injuring several others. Disney's response was typical immediate closure of the ride, an internal investigation, and settlements with affected families. They emphasized ride safety and improvements, but the dark shadow of the incident lingered. Roller coaster accidents, though rare, can be catastrophic. The roller coaster database RCDB reports that while incidents are infrequent, the consequences are often severe. Disney's strategy is to maintain a facade of absolute safety while handling incidents with the utmost discretion. Accident number seven, the employee tragedy. Then there's the employee tragedy. This involved a tragic accident where an employee, dressed as a character, was fatally injured while performing maintenance work. Disney's approach was swift compensation to the family, non-disclosure agreements, and a firm grip on media coverage. They highlighted their commitment to employee safety, but kept the details shrouded in secrecy. Workplace safety is a critical concern. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, workplace accidents in amusement parks are not uncommon, but high-profile companies like Disney have the resources to manage public perception effectively. Accident number eight, the fireworks incident. Finally, we have the fireworks incident. Fireworks are a staple of the Disney experience, but in this case, a malfunction led to a tragic accident, resulting in fatalities. Disney's response followed the usual pattern of immediate action, settlements, and minimal media exposure. They ensured the show would go on, but the victims' families were left dealing with the aftermath. Firework-related accidents, while rare, can be devastating. The National Fire Protection Association NFPA reports that fireworks cause significant injuries and fatalities each year, but incidents involving major corporations like Disney are often kept under wraps to protect their image. Let's take a peek behind the curtain at Disney's strategies to keep these incidents secret. Disney employs a robust legal team often using non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, and settlements to prevent information from leaking out. They've also had a strong influence on the media. Ever notice how Disney-related incidents rarely make it to primetime news? That's no coincidence. Disney's PR team works overtime to manage the narrative, ensuring that any negative stories are quickly overshadowed by the latest Disney movie release or park attraction. I know you might be thinking, is it ethical for a corporation to prioritize its image over transparency? Shouldn't the public have a right to know about the risks they might face? See, let's get real for a second. We all love Disney for its enchanting worlds and unforgettable experiences. But beneath that magical facade lies a harsh truth when tragedy strikes. The impact is felt far beyond the park gates. We're talking about real people, real families, and real heartbreak. The emotional toll is profound and the financial implications are staggering. Imagine the emotional devastation faced by families who lose a loved one in a place synonymous with joy and happiness. The shock, the grief, and the disbelief are unimaginable. For many, the emotional scars never fully heal. Victims' families often describe feeling betrayed by a brand they trusted. They went to Disney seeking happiness, not heartache. The emotional impact is compounded by the secrecy surrounding these incidents. Families are often pressured to remain silent, which can make the healing process even more challenging. Support groups for families affected by theme park accidents highlight a recurring theme, the struggle to reconcile the loss of a loved one with the public's perception of the happiest place on earth. Many families feel isolated in their grief, knowing that few are aware of the darker realities behind Disney's gates. Let's not forget the financial implications. While Disney may offer settlements to families affected by these tragedies, money can't replace a lost loved one. Often, these settlements come with strings attached, namely, non-disclosure agreements and NDAs that prevent families from speaking out. It's a double-edged sword families receive financial support, but at the cost of their silence. For some families, the financial burden extends beyond the immediate tragedy. Medical bills, funeral expenses, and loss of income can plunge families into financial turmoil. And while Disney settlements may alleviate some of these burdens, they can never fully compensate for the life that was lost or the future that was stolen. From Disney's perspective, the financial impact of these incidents can be significant, but it's often a temporary blip on their economic radar. Disney is a multi-billion dollar empire, and its parks generate enormous revenue. According to Statista, Disney parks generated over $29 billion in revenue in 2022 alone. But here's the thing, the company is adept at weathering these storms. They've mastered the art of damage control. When an incident occurs, Disney moves swiftly to protect its brand. Settlements are paid, rides are temporarily closed for maintenance, and the PR machine goes into overdrive to ensure that the magic remains intact in the eyes of the public. Despite the occasional financial hit from legal settlements and temporary dips in visitor numbers, Disney's bottom line remains robust. The parks are always packed, the merchandise is flying off the shelves, 
and the next blockbuster movie is just around the corner. At the heart of the matter is a fundamental question, how does Disney balance its pursuit of profit with its responsibility to guests? The company is incredibly successful, but with that success comes an obligation to ensure the safety and well-being of everyone who visits its parks. In recent years, Disney has made strides to improve safety measures and enhance transparency. They've invested heavily in technology and training to prevent accidents and ensure that guests can enjoy their magical experiences without fear. But, as we've seen, no system is foolproof, and the specter of tragedy always looms. Ultimately, what many families and advocates are calling for is greater transparency. Accidents happen, even in the most well-regulated environments. But when they do, the public deserves to know the truth. By being open and honest about these incidents, Disney can build trust with its guests and demonstrate its commitment to safety and accountability. Transparency doesn't just benefit the public, it benefits Disney as well. By addressing these incidents head-on, Disney can learn from them, implement meaningful changes, and continue to provide magical experiences while prioritizing the safety of everyone who steps through their gates. So that's all for today. If you found this video enlightening, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth stories and behind-the-scenes revelations. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Disney should be more transparent about these incidents? Have you ever experienced something unexpected at a theme park? Thanks for watching. See you next time.